I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, they're still looking for a little voodoo charm down in the crescent city of Nala. Do the Saints have what it takes to finally break through? Atlanta, New Orleans. This ought to be good. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hello folks, I'm Dan Stevens, welcoming you to the Louisiana Superdome. With me, my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game features a big time matchup between an elite wide receiver and a defensive back who's one of the best in the league. That's right, Dan, and you've got to figure they'll be seeing a lot of one another today. Joe Horn is one of the premier receivers in the NFL. He has great hands, and that reliability makes him a favorite target in this offense. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer, Aaron Beasley. He's a highly competent cornerback. He's very skilled at pass coverage. He's got the ability to stick to his man and just deny him the ball for the whole game. It should be one heck of a matchup. It'll be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's tails. Jay Feely kicking off for the Falcons. The ref gets the signal, it's and we're set. Saints football! Feely kicks it, and we are underway. Stecker catches it back at the one. <laughs> Bang down at the 24. Aaron Stecker got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Saints will start this first play of the drive at their own 24-yard line. Hathon goes in motion. He falls in the pass and that will be good for a game of eight. Joe Horn had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second short situation. Yeah, great play and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and two. Ball at the Saints. 32-yard line. Callister takes the hand back. Hands up field. This down at the 39. First down. Here's McAllister. Got a little help from his friend on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, 10 yards to go. Stewart tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Matt Stewart targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Brooks throws a bullet here. And it's intercepted. Tackled at the 46. That's all right, man. It's all right. You can do it. Come on. Don't worry about it. That's right. That's right, man. I'm coming now. I'm oh, coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, 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 and this oh, is a oh, nice oh, interception. Oh, Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Falcons are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 46-yard line. First down, and Coley gets back to the line of scrimmage. Derek Rogers. Ward Dunn got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second and down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second, and second down with the tight end Ball right. 36 yard line. Nick 
floats it to the right side. And this one is incomplete. Hold on, man. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, man. Yeah. 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 Watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up in the D unit. No good. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Brian Finneran dropped the ball so fast there, you'd think it bit him on the thumb or something. Third and long. They have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Moore lines up to punt after the three and out. Moore takes the snap and punts it away. Moore gathers it up at the one. The Saints were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. It's intercepted. One man to beat. No one in front of him. Touchdown, Falcons. He's in for the touchdown. Jason Webster picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Jay Feely to attempt the extra point. Chris Moore holding. The extra point, the extra and point is good. It's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Feely, whom's a beauty here? Stecker downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Saints have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Brooks tips it to the left sideline, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Or he closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Watch the counter. Watch Second the counter. and ten. Ball at the Saints. 20-yard line. We'll get the carry on second down and choose up about four on the play. All right. What have you got? Okay. All right. Third and six. Ball at the Saints. 24-yard line. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Kearney sacks him back the at the 19. That will bring up fourth down. After Kearney got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. Peter forced the loss of yardage on third, and now Don't they face a fourth and long. How, how do you rate that defensive performance? Uh, how about a plus? Two thumbs up. Five stars. It's all good, baby. Berger lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Berger gets the ball and punts it away. At the 40. Tackle at the 50. D'Angelo Hall racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit.
Falcons stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 50-yard line. Finneran goes in motion. Gains about three yards. Carrier. K. Bucky Jones with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 47. Eight yards, and that will bring up first down. First down, Falcons. What done keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. Nice second down call, first and it will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, two tight ends in the game. Back to the line of scrimmage. Number 97 with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at 39. Nice. Makes the catch out to the left, and that's good for a gain of five. Michael Vick lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but was on target. What a pass. They moved the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Vic throws this on a rope, and the reception is made for a first and more. And touchdown. touchdown. Fearless Price is going to make the catch right there. But that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Jay Feely to attempt the extra point. Chris Moore holding. <laughs> Here's the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Feely kicks this one away. Stecker fields the kickoff at the Dragged down at the 27. Aaron Stecker was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Saints haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 27-yard line. McAllister catches it the flat, and he is barely past the markers for a first. Here's McAllister. He's all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. First down, tight end to the left. Alistair <laughs> gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Saints, 40-yard line. Carries it past the scrimmage and gains about three yards. 
Matt Stewart with the tackle. Third and four. Ball at the Saints, 43 yard line. Brooks rifles this one hard over the middle. And the reception's made at the 38. Finally stopped at the 32. It will be first down. Aaron Brooks takes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan. And there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. A nice game, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down, just a single receiver on the field. McAllister will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the 32-yard line. McAllister gets the call again and rambles for about five. And that'll do it for That's quarter number one. Quarter. Falcons enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. the 33. Fourth down coming up. Oh, Berger lines up for the punt. In punt formation. Number 21 to make the return. <laughs> Berger gets the snap and kicks what will be a short one. Hall fair catches it at the 10. Fair catch interference, number 29, offense. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Keith First Braver down. made contact on that play after a fair catch signal was clearly made, so he got the call for interference. You just can't do that. First Falcons come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own 26 yard line. Young Jackson back up. Does a great job stopping the quarterback cold in the backfield. They lose a couple of yards, but it's the feeling of dropping the quarterback that matters. Right, it, it's so important to stop and appreciate the little things, like a flower or a rainbow or a, right. a, a, a tortured face on a quarterback for crying out loud. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all Pass locked up. That will Number bring up second defense. down. Vic throws a heater right side of the line foul. and it's automatic tipped. first down. Incomplete. Jason Kraft manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got first slapped with ten. defensive pass interference. First down with a split backfield. This one will fall incomplete. incomplete. Ryan Finneran and that Finneran one come right to him receiver. back there. You have to catch Red those passes, baby. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces second your ten. way, and sometimes it, uh, it doesn't. Exactly. Griffith goes in motion. Dunn picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Dunn stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. 
Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Michael Vick thought he could beat the double coverage, but the pass was incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. When the will convert, it really hurts. Moore gets ready to punt this away. Moore takes the snap and punts it away. Lewis fields the punt at the 26. Stop at the, the 34. Michael Lewis racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Saints offense has to score here. This drive will start at their 34-yard line. Alistair picks up a yard on the play, and that okay, brings up second down. Okay. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. But if there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. Brooks really And it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Joe Horn has three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball is plenty, but two is something to be stoked about. Look at those stats. That's the definition of a standout year. Gash will get the handoff and passes the line. Number 23. Back the down ball at the 45. Corey Hall. With okay, the we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Somebody's Second and nine. Dirty. Ball at the 45. Brooks rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's Pass tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Matt Stewart with the deflection. Aaron Brooks, he's really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 64 yards and two interceptions. Let's stop him here, Third and nine. Keep him out of field goal range, Ball at the 45. Pulls down the floater, out left, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Saints! Beverly Henderson adds a bunch to that completion. Watch the replay. There's the grab, and he just takes off. He just loves to see those little white lines go by underneath his feet. They get the touchdown and are now on the board. They close the deficit, too. Anybody's game right here. Here's the point after, and the extra point it's is good. good. Hey, way to go out there. Good job. Nice play. Nice play. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Carney booms a beauty here. Rossum downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Falcons had a three and out last time. We'll see what they can do here. They'll start at their own 20 yard line. Vic throws a bullet to the flat and 
and he connects Fearless for a pickup of four complete. on the play. Ashley Fearless Ambrose Price with had the a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing Second him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, oh, and no, he's been exploiting them. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Price goes in motion. Algie Crumper had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Those mid-range passes are not working out for them so far. Peter, what's different in that range? Well, the coverage and their reaction time. The D is beating them to the punch right here. First on third and long. Fearless Price had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. He's been getting the short throws all day, but this time they let him go downfield and make the play. That's a pretty big changeup, Peter. Well, that's what you got to do, Dan. Make him respect the short game and then go for the long ball. Price goes in motion. Picks up one on the play. Ward Gunn used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not second much there. Nine. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get again, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second down. Nine yards to go. Then throws a lob right sideline, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Ashley Ambrose didn't let much daylight get between him and his assignment. Nice coverage to force the incompletion. Intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Saints offense takes the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at the 47-yard line. Brooks zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Angelo Hall managed to disrupt things. He got in there, and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Horn grabs the bullet, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Joe Horn doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging the football. Another completion, and he's definitely shaping up to be a major factor in this game. It's only the second quarter still, but if he can keep it up, he could have a typically impressive day. They will move the chain. Here's McAllister. Beat his man with a sweet little juke move back there. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Check that out. Those last year numbers are solid. McAllister. <laughs> Gains about three yards. Carrier. Keith Brooking with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 33. Go, 
Brooks just right for this one. And it's complete at the 23. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. First down, one man down. Ball at the 20-yard line. We'll get the ball on first down, and gains about three yards. Second and seven. Ball at the 17. The Dallas River gains five on the play, and that will bring up third down. Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the run. Yes, it's a little call on third down, and converts the third down. First and goal. Ball at the seven. Him down at the Saints out, take their first time out. Saints, come on, let's go. Bring it in. You're going backwards. Second and goal. Run, run, run. Ball at the eight yard line. Stewart tips it away incomplete. on the coverage. Incomplete. Matt Stewart with the deflection. Matt Stewart gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Let's step it up. We got Third this one. Goal. Single back. Ball at the Single eight back. Down. Down. The Saints will take a timeout. That's their second. You know, Fourth down, goal to go. Mitch Berger holding. <laughs> Carney with a 24-yarder in. It's through the uprights. Mitch Berger handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. A field goal puts them a little closer to tying things up. Yeah, and that's a positive note their coach can point to when he tries to pump up his team at halftime. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Carney rockets this one deep. Rossum downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Falcons offense takes the field with the clock at 14. Price goes in motion. Gets his second and gains about three yards. will do it for the first half That's of this one. The Falcons court. are out in front 14 to 10. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. But welcome, everybody. The ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Saints should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Chris Draft would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Saint early in the first quarter, the ball at their own 20-yard line. Jason Webster shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Falcons. Falcons midway through the first, Falcons leading by seven. Peerless Price found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. They move ahead by 14. Saints end of the first quarter. Aaron Brooks would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Saints trailing 14 to nothing. 
Devery Henderson is going to run a great route here. Have a look as it creates some space and is able to bring this in. A 45-yard touchdown for the Saints. The Saints climb back into the game, now down by seven. Falcons still midway through the second. Lucky to Bucky Jones. Shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Saints coming up on the end of the half. Saints down by seven. John Carney, good night everybody. Gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone. But the short field goal is up and good. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints are down, but still in it. 14 to 10. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Peerless Price has played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Falcons will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 14 to 10. Let's go down to the field.